Okie dokie. Hey everybody, it's Jason Fraser and welcome to my YouTube channel. So June 2016 has been a rough month for the LGBT plus community and will certainly go down in our history books. So this video is going to be a reflection of some of the events, good and bad, that have happened during the month of Pride. I'm going to start off with the bad, just to get that out of the way. And you probably all know that on the 12th of June, 49 people were killed and 53 others wounded at a gay nightclub called Pulse in Orlando, Florida, USA. It is described both as the deadliest mass shooting by a single gunman, as well as the deadliest incident of violence towards the LGBT plus community in US history. On the 25th of June, Pride in Istanbul was officially called off due to security concerns and over 300 policemen were deployed to the scene in riot gear. On the 27th of June, a Tanzanian official vowed that his country would never reverse its ban on anti-gay laws. In case you didn't know, homosexuality is illegal in Tanzania and the punishment for being gay is between 30 years and life imprisonment. Then to top it all off, on the 29th of June, hashtag heterosexual pride day was trending on Twitter. This could be a Guinness World Record for the largest collective face palm that humanity has ever seen. Just a reminder, the few negative points that I've just raised is precisely why you don't need a heterosexual pride day. Every day is a heterosexual pride day. All right, so now let's leave some of the bad news and focus on some of the good. On the 3rd of June, South Africa's advertising regulator ruled against homophobes that complained about an advert called We the Brave, which depicted two grown men kissing at the dinner table in front of their father. The advertising regulator basically said this to homophobes, which is super cool. On the 4th of June, and I'm so excited about this, um, the Namibian coastal city Swakopmund celebrated its first Pride March. Around 150 people attended the event and this is Namibia's second event in history of this nature. The first was back in 2013 where Pride was celebrated in Vintuk. Now, sticking with the African continent, on the 6th of June, the announcement of South Africa's first LGBT animated TV series, which is about two gay squirrels, is being made in Cape Town. This edgy animated comedy series is called Squares and is both for local and international audiences. And I'll leave a link in the description box below of a short little trailer and you can go and check that out. On the 12th of June, thousands attended Ukraine's first major LGBT pride event. Despite fear and despite threats from far right movements calling for rivers of blood, they still attended the event. On the 24th of June, President Barack Obama himself declared Stonewall Inn a national monument. And this is the first in US history for an LGBT plus national monument. So big ups, USA. On the 25th of June, London saw pride. Tens of thousands of people attended the event, and this is one of the biggest one-day events held by the city. It is also one of the largest LGBT celebrations in the world, and over 300 groups participated in this year's parade. On the 29th of June, a Czech Republic court strikes down the ban on gay people adopting children. Now, although this is just for one individual within a relationship where one individual is of Czech nationality, it's still a huge victory for the Czech people. So on the 30th of June, the United Nations voted in a LGBT rights watchdog committee, which will monitor violence and discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. 
Now, while I celebrate this huge victory in the right direction, I am also deeply saddened by my home country's stance. I truly battle to understand why South Africa abstained from the vote. In my opinion, abstaining from this landmark resolution at the UN Human Rights Council is a clear violation of the essence of South Africa's constitution. Let me just remind you, rights for LGBT plus Africans on the continent are extremely limited in comparison to the rest of the world. So apart from my home country, South Africa, where equal rights are afforded to LGBT plus people, it is illegal to be gay in 34 out of 56 countries in Africa. The death penalty and imprisonment, sometimes a life sentence, are huge realities that LGBT plus Africans face on a daily basis. All I have to say is that I am extremely disappointed in South Africa's stance. Even the days after that, South Africa's ambassador, in my opinion, failed to give clear reason why they abstained from voting in such a monumental decision. But there are amazing things happening in our community and this is just but a few of some of the good stuff that is happening. I am so proud to be gay and I am proud to be an African. And on the 6th and 7th of August, I will be attending Brighton Pride. I'm really excited because this is going to be my first ever Pride event and I wanted to do something special. So in solidarity for my fellow Africans, I will be wearing bright traditional African jewelry to show how vibrant our people truly are and that I support each and every one of you and that you are not alone. If you are coming down to Pride in Brighton, please let me know if you want to meet up. I think it would be amazing to meet some of you. Follow me on my social media platforms and just let me know if you want to meet up. I know I touched on only a few good things that have happened and some bad things that have happened, but I want you to leave comments down below. What has been your favorite moment in LGBT plus history so far to date? What has been a highlight, the pinnacle point of moving in that right direction? I want to know about it. Um, if you are attending Pride for the very first time or have attended Pride for the very first time this year, I also want to know. That's a huge achievement and I want to know about your story. Please don't forget to like this video, share if you must, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Sending lots of love and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>